So welcome back to the channel, hope everybody's doing well. And in today's little video, we're gonna look at some tools I've got here for working with Eclipse. Uh, Eclipse are these little fellows here uh, that you find around clevis pins on tools and uh, robotics and all kinds of bits and pieces really. Uh, we have a number of clevis pins here with some of the Eclipse around and they're also in this uh, ratchet crimper frame here you see the Eclipse around the pivot pins there. Two sets of tools that we have are from Engineer. This is the PZ01 that you see here, it's the smallest one, and covers Eclipse from E3 to E4. This will be around about 16 to 20 pounds from Amazon. Um, nice quality from Engineer that you usually see with them. You've got the engineering brand and the type there around the pivot on the tool and on the handle as well. The handles are this dipped plastic that you get uh, the very thin kind of shiny smooth plastic you find on some of the tools. Um, the PZ02 here is also from Engineer again same build quality that you see same dipped handles but different coloured for the PZ02. This also retails for around about 16 to 20 pounds also from Amazon and this covers Eclipse from E5 to E9. Uh, in contrast, we have here a multi-tool device from US Pro. This is the US Pro 5039, and it covers Eclipse from E6, E7, E8, and E9. And you have the handle here. Uh, one end is for inserting the Eclipse, the other end is for releasing the Eclipse, and they merely slide in uh, and lock in through the pin there so they're locked in and then just press the pin and it comes out and you can reverse it or select one of the other tools whichever you prefer um, so that's that tool there that uh, you can get that from Amazon and eBay uh, I have the US Pro version there is a number of different manufacturers that manufacture this device here all kinds of makes but they cover the same range and operate in the same manner uh, as I said they will cover E6 to E9 clips and you get this from £9 up to £15. Um, all of these devices come in little blister packs uh, you can see them just at the back here um, so there's no uh, wallets or anything with them not too much of a problem for the engineer they're just standard pliers um, you don't get anything to keep this in uh, but these do slide in quite well into the pockets on a, a Vito or a Velocity bag but other than that they'll be just be kicking around you don't get anything with the tool itself to keep them all together. So we can have a little demo here uh, the PZ01s are the first pliers that I purchased um, I've got a small clevis pin here uh, this is a uh, four mil clevis pin I believe yeah it's a four mil clevis pin so this is actually an E3 clip the smaller of the uh, clips that this can handle. Um, when you actually see these, I'll have to get some, probably some close-up photos because I don't know how well you'll see. Um, you have like two teeth on one side of the jaws here that will lock into place underneath the gaps that are in the actual clip and then you close the plier up and you can see hopefully, uh, I'm not sure how well, if not I'll put pictures up again um, these actually lock into place around the e-clip there or through the e-clip I should say really uh, and allow you to grip it. Uh, I'll need another set of pliers to hold the actual pin with and then you can just pull there and it removes the e-clip and it keeps a hold of it so you don't lose it so it's quite a nice feature that I do like um, and you can also use these for inserting the clip as well back on and there you go, on and off, no problems. Uh, use these multiple times, absolutely love them. Uh, they're fantastic for the little pins that are quite easy to lose or awkward to handle. Uh, these are absolutely brilliant. Um, so I know no problems with these whatsoever. So that made me go out and buy the PZ02s, which are for slightly larger size clips. Um, put them out of the way. So what I have here is uh, this is an 8mm shaft and an E6 clip, I believe. Get this right. So, yep, so we are an 8mm shaft on there. And the clip is an E6 clip. And 
if I try and do the same again, the principle is the same on these. You've got these teeth that are in so one side of the jaw and the other jaw is flat and these should lock into place underneath the clip and go through and then it should lock but as you can see here I need to have a gap in here and these haven't closed up properly. So henceforth they're not gripping properly and sometimes they work and you can remove the clip other times it's not so successful. You can also see that if you look at the groove on here again I might have put pictures up the circular of the jaw there doesn't match around the clevis pin it appears to be too small so it's stopping it going in uh, far enough to grip round you can see again on the, the other side there as well um, so these are not working as well we'll see if we can uh, just remove the actual now you see and that's what they do they kind of slip off and they don't grip anywhere near as well and just aren't really working it's gone now um, so yeah, they don't appear to be working too well. Now, when the clip is off, you can see now that it's sat into the jaws properly. Uh, that's the other side. And you sit in there, and then you close up, and you can see the gap's gone now. So everything's all cushed in, it's holding properly. Um, but the shape of the jaws there don't allow me to get onto this particular Clevis pen and, and remove the clip very easily. Uh, so I said that was an E6. Uh, sort out any clips we've got here. So this is an E5 clip. Uh, we can show that hopefully. Uh, if we open up the jaws, so you see 4.87 there. So it's an E5, which is in the range of these. We'll get the packaging. This is the packaging for the PZ02. You can see there five to nine hopefully if not i'll put another picture up and um, so they are apparently designed to handle these clips from five to nine millimeter but this one here uh, doesn't appear to fit properly um, it's like these jaws are just too big for the five mil clip and uh, they don't sit properly and again you see i've got my gap back in there so not working very well at all on a 5mm. Uh, the 6mm we saw was fine. 7mm uh, clip that we take in there. See, 7 mils closed up. We can get our... Uh... So again, 6.8mm there. So you can see that's a 7mm clip. Uh, that one there. An 8mm we'll take out on a 9mm. Uh, so here's the 8mm, uh, that's going okay, see no problems there, and oh I just put that back in the wrong slot didn't I, <laughs> and a 9mm, um, you'd have to jiggle him about but he does go eventually, there you go, so that's the 9mm there, I don't have any uh, clevis pins the right size to take these so I don't know if they will work as well, I presume they will do because the jaws are almost clear really aren't they, so you would have thought would have worked. Um, it's just the smaller size clip, the E5 and E6, it doesn't work very well. Um, let's take you out of there. Uh, yeah. So E9's going there and E8's going there. And the same with these stainless clips. Uh, what have we got here? So five mils of these ones here. Uh, they are pretty much the same size. Um, and they don't really hold very well. You can see we've got our gap and it's not closing up around the clip properly at all. Um, so a bit disappointed with these ones. Um, the only other thing to note with these two is that they are magnetic. Um, so they will pick these stainless ones up. They have, appear to have a bit of magnetism in them, um, but you lose them easy. The steel ones, they do pick up very, very well and keep hold of them. So they do have that advantage as well. And as I said, you can remove and install with both of these plier sets here. Um, so put those back out of the way because the other disadvantage to both of these, despite I can't get these to work on all the clips that engineer claim they will work on, is if you have something like this 
tool frame here where the clevis pin or the pivot pin is solid and there's no gap underneath. You can't use these, you can't get in with these. You need to be able to push the pivot pin through and have enough room to get one side of these underneath and then you can remove them. Um, so to overcome that you have this tool here from US Pro. As I say this is available in, from multiple different manufacturers um, and this is a 6mm clip on this one here, the same as we put on this clevis pin here. Um, so we can take the E6 frame, obviously you have to get this the right way around, uh, you have the release and insert, put it in there. So for the release of these you just put these underneath and hold it flat against the frame and you can push and it kind of removes it halfway um, but that's as far as it will go. Uh, but you can then obviously take the rest with a little screwdriver or something and it flies away and lose it. Uh, good job we've got some spares, isn't it? So with this one here, reinstalling it, uh, these aren't magnetic. So once you've got the right size, although it holds it in there, um, you obviously can't put it in this way because it won't be going into the groove properly. Um, it has to be flipped over and as soon as you do that, the clip falls out. So the way I've been doing this uh, is to actually put the clip on first onto the frame. See so it hold up there, line it up into position, and then the tool the right way around. Holding it flat, you can push it into place and then it clips in fairly easily. Um, these tools, you do have to kind of keep it flat onto the frame. Um, you can see here, I've scratched quite badly around here. Uh, this is an old gash frame, it's an aluminium frame for a set of crimpers and it doesn't crimp properly. Uh, there's too much flex in it so I don't mind scratching it and damaging stuff but if you do hold it at an angle when you're pushing these tips will grate in and scratch your surfaces if you've got something delicate so they do have to be used with care. Um, but that's them in operation, they do work reasonably well. Uh, as I said you have E9, E8, E6 and the E7 here that I've used um, as I said, these don't fit very well in the next size clips. Probably should have done this with uh, these ones so you get the contrast. You can see the E6 clip there on the E7 and it sits nicely. Uh, whereas on the E6 frame, you see it just doesn't fit properly. Um, so, yeah, intriguing um, E9s. Let's, where's the E9 clip on this? Uh, E9s are these ones here. Um, so again, you'll see the E9 doesn't fit properly into the insert clip there on the release. It does fit. You can see the teeth kind of sit around side and will encourage this to be pushed open. Um, e 8 ones there, they do fit onto the E9 there, no problems. So again, the insert wise seem to be one size out on these, whereas the release side is fine. Okay, so that's these tools here you have for the Eclipse. Um, they're okay-ish. These ones are great, uh, much easier to use uh, than trying to pry stuff off with screwdrivers and lose stuff. Uh, mixed emotions about these two. They have their issues. Uh, they don't appear to be sized quite properly uh, in my experience of using them, uh, but those are just my findings. There are a couple of other versions out there of these. There is a version from Aster Tools, which is the a dash SEG77 that does Eclipse from E9 to E13 and it's purely an insertion tool, purely this side of here. You don't have any aspect of that tool to remove the Eclipse but it operates in a similar manner to this one. Laser also make a similar sort of tool to the Aster tool which is the Laser 8438. It seems to be virtually carbon copy of it and works in the same manner. Those you'll pick them up for anywhere from 23 to 30 pounds. And then more in the size of clips that these tools here will cover. You have a frame from Fast Tracks, which is the Fast 662. And that covers Eclipse from E3 through to E6. So combination of these two pliers here and the bottom end of the tool from US Pro, uh, you'll get that from seven to nine pounds, usually from eBay. Um, so those tools are also available as alternatives to these, but I've not used those. But there you go, that's these tools uh, in operation. As I say, 
Uh, this one I think is great, I'm quite happy with that. These two uh, I've got mixed feelings with really, they don't seem to work quite as well as the small PZ01 pliers do, uh, but that's on the range of Eclipse that I have available to me and the Clevis pins and the like. That'll be the end of this video, uh, thanks for watching, hope you found it useful and I'll see you again in the next one.